Mary Puffs bark 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 Mary Pup bark 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 Mary Pup bark 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 Mary Pup. My dog. I know her. I know her so much. Take her. There's another one. Hi, baby boy. Hold for canines. Three, two, one, throw. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Metagame Minute. Metagame Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about anything we want to talk about in the gaming world today. And today, I want to talk about saying goodbye to a game, or to many games. Around this time last year, in about a month or so, right after Gen Con, we did a big uh, culling. We culled a lot of games. We culled, like, I think it was like 70 games or so. We got rid of a lot of stuff, because we just kind of kept on, kept stuff, and, and we hadn't really ever been at capacity, but at that point, we were at capacity. We couldn't get any more. We had brought back a lot of stuff from Gen Con, and we needed to get rid of it. So we did a big cull, and we did a big giveaway. So we're gonna be doing another big cull. I wanna say right now, we're not doing another giveaway for many different reasons, but we're not gonna do a give big giveaway. We're actually looking at a couple different shelters and stuff to give the games to, to donate to, so hopefully for like families in need and stuff like that. So we're gonna be giving the games away, um, and we're not gonna be, we're gonna be donating them rather instead of giving them away. But nonetheless, so we, we were thinking about, okay, so we started doing the talk again, like, okay, what's staying, what's going, this, we never play it. We don't really play this, should we keep it? We don't play this, but every once in a while we really need this specific game, da 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 da. So I wanna talk about why does a game leave your collection? Or specifically, why does it stay? Because I think the easiest way to, to think about it is, well, do you play it? And, and that's kind of hard to argue with. Do you play it? If not, boom, it's gone. And it's that easy for some people. But there's certain games that like, like say take a game like Libertalia. Libertalia is a great game that we love. That I'll tell you right now, isn't leaving our collection. And the reason is, is because Libertalia, we play once a year, maybe, but there's that time where we need five or six people and we want a simultaneous, really chaotic, crazy game. And Libertalia is it. So despite the fact that we don't really play it very often, it's gonna stay. But then there's other games that we have played or have played even a decent amount, but we're like, you know what? We're done with them. And so we're kind of going through that time where we're trying to figure out what is it that causes us to get rid of a game? I think the main one is exactly that. Do we play it? If no, then it's already on the chopping block. Is it a special enough game or a special enough occasion game that it's worth keeping around? For that once every five years you play it, it's worth it. It's that big giant game, but you only play it once every five years at a convention, but you know what, damn it, it is worth taking up precious space on my shelf for that reason. I hope that not point at anything specific over here. I also think nostalgia can come into it. Some people are very ruthless, like, nope, if I don't play it, it's gone. For me, it's like there's some games we don't play very much, but there were some of the games that got us into the hobby, and so I don't really want to get rid of them for sentimental reasons. And I would say the last one, honestly, is space. There are certain games that we've gotten rid of just because of the sheer fact they take up too much space. The box is just massive. It takes up a whole, some boxes will take up basically this entire shelf. And it's like, sure, we may really like that game. We may really play it more often than we play certain things, but it's like, I can choose to have one game or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. And now this is a pretty packed shelf, but I do think space, especially when you have a limited amount of space, if one game is taking up the spot of five or six other games, that might be a reason to get it, even if you like it more than those five or six other games. So basically what I'm getting at is there are a lot of different factors and sometimes having a hard and fast rule doesn't really work out when you're talking about getting rid of games that you really love because we are at the point now where every game that's on the shelf behind us, we legitimately like. There are no games on here we do not like. So at this point, you're having to get rid of games that you enjoy. And how do you do that? What's your method for culling games? Or do you just not cull games and you just buy a new shelf? We can't do that, so we have to call games. This, these games do not leave this room, and this is about as much as we got. So let me know down in the comments below what your method is for getting rid of games, and what, what's the turning point for you, for you getting rid of a game? What, what is the kind of straw that broke the camel's back for that game? Is it time? Is it the amount played? Is it space? Is it size? What, what causes you to get rid of a game? Put it down in the comments below, because I think this is something that 
is cool to talk about because it's some if you game long enough, you're gonna fall into this category. You're gonna have to give up games at some point. And how do you go about doing it? Some people might need some tips, so please do put them down there in the comments. And until next time, whether or not you're calling regularly some people in and out, in and out all the days, or you just keep, 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 keep on collecting. Remember, the more meta, the more better. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you want to check out last week's Metagame Minute, check out this video up here and down there is something that YouTube thinks you'll like. While you're here, make sure to thumb this video up, share it around, and of course, as always, subscribe. I don't have a clever outro, I'm sorry.